Today, we're going to learn how to make this rotating text cylinder in Adobe After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. My settings here are 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames with a composition duration of 20 seconds. You can put whatever settings you want here, but for this tutorial, that's what we're working with. Now, what we want to do is create the actual text layer that we'll be using to transform into a rotating text cylinder. There's two ways to do this. You can either create the text layer in After Effects using the inbuilt text editor, or you can design something a little bit more complex in something like Photoshop or Illustrator and import as a PNG. For now, let's use the type tool. You can select this from the toolbar and it's just the uppercase T icon here, or you can use the shortcut Control T or Command T, depending on what type of machine you're on. With the type tool selected, we're going to type out our text. We're actually going to type this out twice. That way, when we transform it into a cylinder, we'll get a nice looking wrap. You can change your text settings in the right hand character properties panel, and we can also center the text to the composition using the alignment options. And that's our text done. Now to turn this into a cylinder is actually really easy. In our effects panel, we want to search for CC cylinder, and we should find this under the perspective dropdown. Drag and drop this effect onto our text layer, and we'll see some new properties pop up in our effect controls. Expand the rotation properties by clicking on the dropdown, and it should show you the X, Y, and Z controls. These controls affect how much the cylinder rotates along that specific axis. For now, we'll only be making changes to the X and Y values. For our X rotation value, we'll be changing the second number by either left clicking and dragging left or right, by moving the dial left or right, or by clicking the value and inputting a new number. This is completely up to you and your tastes, but I'm kind of feeling negative 340 degrees, so we're going to go with that. We're now going to make some changes to our Y rotation value. We'll be using keyframes here, so let's start by making sure that our playhead is positioned at the very start of our timeline. You can drag the playhead manually or use the shortcut home to send it to the beginning of the timeline. To use keyframes, we have to activate them first by clicking on the little stopwatch icon. Since we're wanting to change the Y rotation value, we'll be clicking the stopwatch icon next to the Y rotation heading. Let's set up the next keyframe and get this thing animated. Let's move the playhead to the end of the timeline by, you guessed it, using the shortcut end, and then change the first Y rotation value to one, or in other words, one full rotation. By setting the rotation value to one at the end of the timeline, we've essentially made a perfect loop. And that's it, you've made a fancy rotating text cylinder. Now, I did mention before that you can import designs instead of using the text tool in After Effects. All you have to do is export your designs as a PNG file, preferably the same dimensions as your composition with the text spanning the full width, otherwise you'd get weird gaps in your design. We can reapply exactly the same steps from this point on and we'll get the same effect. Here's a little tip for using the import method. You can easily replace designs without going through the process each time. Import your new designs into the project, make sure your old design is selected, and alt drag your new design over the old one to replace it. So that's it for this one friends, keep an eye out for the next video where we'll go through a few more ways to creatively use a CC cylinder. You know what to do to support the channel, and always remember, stay creative and go for broke.